Logan Ramirez. And you are with, you are, we are interviewing you for? Uh, Command Dance. Yes. All right, jumping right into the interview. What type of dance is Command? Well, Command is mainly hip hop. Um, you know, some jazz influence in there, but it's mostly like fast hip hop, you know, like popping like isolations and stuff. You know, like the street dancers that'd be like, mm -hmm. You know, all, the, all like the robot stuff. Some of that, some of like, you know, hood style, you know, isolation style. It's all very, varies, which is why Command is very fun. Now, what's your favorite style of dance, personally? A dance, the hip hop, of course. You know, I've, you know, ballet's like not for me personally. I do it, you know, for training reasons, but um, hip hop is mainly my favorite style. It really expresses me the most, and I feel the most comfortable doing it. Now, how would one join Command if they were looking to join Command? Um, show up. I would say show up. Yeah, nice. Am I good? <laughs> Alright, thank you. So they're telling me to move. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you can go up to the people, uh, the directors, leaders, whatever they're called. Uh, their names are Bowie Pina, uh, Pina and uh, Miguel Solis. I think that's their name. Okay. Um, how much of a, of a commitment is Command? Well, we have practices every Thursday, and um, so it's it's just sh um, depends what you're doing. If you're going just for classes, then it, you, you show up for fun, you know. But if you're going to do the rally, that's a big commitment because you have to show up to practices, you have to know formations, you have to, you know, get comfortable doing the dance. I would say because and it's right after school too, so your energy's already drained enough. So I would, it's kind of a big commitment because you know you're moving your whole body the whole time. Two hours practices, very sweaty after. Water bottle's already empty, so you have to be like, ah, oh, I gotta drink my sweat then. So <laughs> I, I would say it, it could be a big commitment sometimes. Right. So how would you manage stage fright? Or what's your advice to give on that? Um, man. Well. So at first, I, I, to be honest, me, I'm never nervous on stage. I'm already a goof. Uh, people already make fun of me all the time because I'm stupid. So I would say for other people who want to manage stage fright, um, don't think of them in their underwear. That's a myth. Don't think of that. That doesn't work. That, that's co the complete opposite. It'll make you more nervous. So I, I just don't look at the audience. I would say look up. Like just look, find like a thing in the audience to look at, like a solar panel or a light, and just stare at that. It, it'll become funny. Look, ooh, stupid light. Just look at that. Because that gives your posture already up. Um, just don't think about it too much. Just just have fun, you know? Don't be like, I'm going to hit every move thinking of every move. Just sit there and groove, you know? Sit there and just do your thing. Don't overthink it. Do you like the costumes you've had so far? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. single one? Uh, some of them were cool. I mean, with dance, it's kind of hard to choreograph, you know, because we're not a dance, you know, company. It's like an after-school thing, and so we have to work with, like, black pants, white shoes, red shirt. Mm. So it's, it's kind of basic, but we have to be basic because coming from a variety of different people with a variety of different options, what they have. So, you know, we can't be like, oh, glitter pants with a fedora top hat, you know, and some Spanx. We can't, not everyone's going to have all that, so we have to be very, uh, broad about it. Will you continue to dance after graduation? Would you be interested in that? Of course! Who wouldn't? I'm, you know, planning to, you know, teach dance, you know, chore you know, choreograph dance, maybe open a dance studio, teach a lot. You know, that's what I do. That's how I got money before. That's how I hustle. That's how you hustle. Yeah. Uh, is there any drama you have to deal with in Command? Oh. Loaded question. Not Command, but if you're going to dance, wherever, depending where, some drama will happen internally with people. Um, I, me, I've had to deal with that before. Um, mainly, it's, it's mainly people just liking each other, to be honest. And they'll be like, oh, look at them dance, but then another person is like them. It becomes intertwined, and beef becomes, you know, hey. And it's hard because, you know, you're working in the same environment. So you have to be a prof look professional because you can't be like, oh, I hate you. And you can't do that. It's a dance. So, there is drama, just ignore it. Just let them let him get yelled at by the coaches. Let them get kicked out. Don't get into it. Now, I know lifts are sometimes a harder or uh, easier move depending on the person. So how easy would you say they are for you? 
lift as mm -hmm. lifting up a person. Yeah, or being lifted, but I'm guessing oh, it would be. I, I don't get lifted. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm too, I'm a petite boy. <laughs> a petite boy. But I'm long, so it's, it's the proportions <laughs> wouldn't work. Um, me, I, me, I had to do some lifts before. They're, they're not hard. It's just practicing them over and over again. It will definitely wear you down because if you're like, all right, take one. <gasps> all right, again, your arms start to wear out. You know, it's for performances. It's good because one and done. So it's very, they're they're easy for me. Does dance make you feel pretty? Uh, yes, I feel swayalicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel I feel good depending on the style. I, I I think I look the best when I'm dancing. I mean, not photography wise because when they take pictures of all men dancing, you have some like dumb dance faces you make. But watching a video, I, I feel I feel. <laughs> now getting into some personal questions that people want to know. Uh, what is your favorite mobile game? <laughs> who, who asked this? Well, right here. <laughs> right here. Of course, Ami. My favorite mobile game is Godzilla Defense Force. <laughs> very nice, very it's, nice. it's a currency based game with Godzilla. It's very nerdy. I think you can tell I'm a loser. <laughs> I have no life. I'm pretty far in the game. <laughs> Don't play it. It's 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 like a, a what's the word like a addictive. It, it's very addictive and like it do, a dopamine game. It like lures you in. Like oh here's a rewards. Oh watch ads. <laughs> now getting into a juicy question. Like people need to know. Are you and Liam in love? <laughs> uh, Liam as in my best friend. Yes. Um. Liam last name. I wouldn't say in love. More like. He's my side piece. <laughs> <laughs> you see, what he does is, um, he <laughs> Let the baby bleep some of that out. to be learning how to dance from Logan. So, we'll just jump right into it. Okay, so, so this is uh, the dance that we did at the rally um, like a month ago. This was taught by Maribel Rosario. Um, that's her Instagram. Plug it. Yeah, nice. so she taught this. I Don't take credit, I didn't come up with this. This is her. D give her credit, she's amazing. So first you're gonna spread legs out. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go <laughs> one, two. And we gotta make sure that booty, you know, <laughs> pop in because that's you know, we're, we're dancing. We go one, two, okay. one, two, and then step, step. Wait, it's called a ball change. One, two, left foot go one and two, one, and then three, three, four, four, and that's like a that's like a Bam. like a big pizzazz move. So okay. watch me, watch me. You go one, two, together. Okay. One, two, step, 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 together. We we'll go slow. We go one, two, step, 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 together. Five, six, seven, eight, step, step, though. I messed up the words. My fault one more time. Five, <coughs> six, seven, eight. Hit, hit, step, 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 step together. <laughs> yes, now you're getting it. Add a little bit more pizzazz again. Okay. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Hit, hit, step, 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 together. Oh, TV. <laughs> I hit the TV. Don't hit your own <laughs> props and stuff. Yeah, we should move back. Alright, next, you want to keep going? Uh, yeah. After uh, step, step, boom, 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 hit, um, you're gonna, you have to you just end it like this so your feet are together. Okay. There you go. Behind. Behind. Turn. And then down, up. <laughs> Show that booty. <laughs> yeah, show that. No. So then after the um, um, hit, I taught it wrong, it goes boom, ta ta ta. It's, it's like a like a little shaker. Boom, ta -ta -ta. Yeah. Then you're gonna step behind, and then booty up. <laughs> just just that new part we learned. So we're gonna go step ta ta ta, and here and up. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Step ta ta ta. Step behind <laughs> and down <laughs> and up. Yeah. Um, such a dancer. I know. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> so now we're gonna put it all together. Very slow. This, okay. um, I mean, the dance is not really slow, it's really fast, so. Oh. I'd like to see you do this in the rally. Oh. Let's go, ready? 
five, six, seven, eight. Pump, pump, together, and then step, flare, step, cha-cha-cha, step behind, down, up. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna bring Ami on here. I can't be the only one having fun, so come on, come here. Come, come here, here, Ami. Come here, come here. Bye. Ah, look who it is. Why do I always get forced to do these things? Yeah, uh, I don't want to teach you the. I want. You, I want to see the, the booty bump part. So we're gonna go step cha cha cha. <laughs> step cha cha cha. Step behind. Here, and up. <laughs> Just like that, dude. All right, ready? Come on, dude. You're in marching man. You should be able to this do this. Is, this is hard. Man. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Step, cha cha cha. Step behind. And down, up. Okay, so now we just want to know who did better. Ami. Come on. Ami? Uh, Ami. Well, okay. I would say Ami won. All right. Because he, he gave it that flair. You were just like. <laughs> Non-existent girl, you gotta give more flair. This is why no one watches your show. Oh, <laughs> it's not mine, to be fair. So, yeah. Thank you for joining oh, us to the game. Oh, <laughs> now, what are you guys doing? Uh, you're continuing your stupid thing. Anyways, that was the end of the game. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're just gonna hop right back over to the couch. Yeah, the couch. What a fun game that was. Now that's really gonna be the end of our episode. Is there anything you wanna plug before we go? Yes, uh, wait, I forgot the Insta. Yes, uh, command underscore dance crew. That's the Instagram, go follow it. Um, follow everybody that's tagged, you know, in the bio, Bowie, Siana, other people who, you know, run it and ran it before, you know, you can you dance a bunch of, watch us. Also, if you wanna contact us, if you want to join or you're nervous about anything you can message um the people in the bio as well as the instagram itself the people who run it you know amazing people so please try out i better i will see you i better see you i will make you see you me yeah all right once again thank you for joining us today this is the end of the episode um like subscribe do whatever if you feel like it uh you can find this or anything related to rchs productions on <clears throat> on the YouTube channel or any ins uh, or Instagram or I believe TikTok under RCHS Productions. That's the handle for everything. So yeah, go be sure to check that out. Or if you're a student, maybe head into the studio theater, talk to Hanks. Maybe if you like it. Yeah. <laughs>